College Algebra, Topic 5.3, Solving Logarithmic Equations. We'll be solving logarithmic equations using this one property. That if you have an exponential, a base raised to an exponent that equals an answer, you can write this as a logarithm, the log of the same base of the answer to equal the exponent. Or you can start off with a logarithm of base b of a equals x and convert that to base b to the x power equals a. So number seven. We have the log base two of 0 0.125 equals x. Okay, from here we're gonna convert this. This will be our base of two. The x will be our power. And this will all equal 0 0.125. Next, we want to start converting this into a fraction. Now, to convert this to a fraction, we remove the decimal, one, two, five, and since this is a tenths, hundredths, thousands place, we replace it with a thousand as a denominator. Now, this does simplify to a one eighth. And to make this an eighth itself, I'm gonna take the reciprocal of this. This is already to the first power, so we have a property that says when you take the reciprocal of the base, you change the power, the sign of the power. So now we have a base of 2 and a base of 8. Now I want a base of 2 on this, both sides. Okay. For 2 to remain a base of 2, the exponent simply remains x. For 8 to become a base of 2, the exponent becomes 3. The negative 1 is still on the outside. It hasn't changed. Next property. We have powers raised to powers, so we're going to multiply them. So 3 times 1 is negative 3. And now that we have our bases the same, base 2, base 2, we can equate the exponents and say that x equals negative 3. Number 8. We have the common log of 0 0.1. That equals x. Well, common log basically means we're using base 10. So a base 10 as an exponential with x here equals 0 0.1. We just converted our logarithm into an exponential. Now, we're going to start converting this um, decimal into a fraction. So this will be 10 to the x equals 1. And this is the tenths place, so we'll divide it by 10. 1 over 10 is actually to the first power. So when I take the reciprocal of it, we'll get 10 to the negative first power. And now that our bases are the same, base 10, base 10, we can equate the exponents, and x equals negative 1. 